Hello and welcome back to another Click Clacks RCs. Today we're going to be doing a review of the ISDTESC70. So if you didn't see the first video, go check it out. Like, subscribe, make sure to follow up for more updates and more things coming new to this crawler. Okay, first things first, we're going to be talking about some troubleshooting. A lot of people are having a lot of problems out of this ESC. And some of the problems are easy fixes so today i'm going to help you guys out with some of the things that i've learned while encountering this esc i tried it the first time and i think i got the wrong version there are two versions of this one version is sold on bang good and other places the one from Amazon seems to be the one everyone wants. So make sure the box looks like this one and make sure the laser engraving is on it because the version 2 has the laser engraving on it. So, okay, so let's start with some of the first problems a lot of people are encountering. And a lot of people are encountering is the flashing red light as soon as they plug it in. And the fix for this is to simply unplug everything that you had plugged up and check the connections. Make sure everything is properly connected. My problem was I had a loose motor wire. So after I got that fixed, it actually came on and blinked so I could connect to the app. Okay, so my second problem with the app connection, it didn't, I did not do the firmware update. Me personally, I kind of wait on those because sometimes, you know, it kind of actually screws the system up more than it needs to be. So I'm not running the update. The next problem connecting, it was uh, the do not remove the battery while it's updating the app. Um, that's kind of impossible because if you do not let the battery stay in, how will it accept the signal? And just leave everything on, ladies and gentlemen. So that had to be a glitch in some kind of way. So the next problem I'm going to go to is the third one. is another error people are making when connecting to this app. When you, after you have paired the app, you do not have to keep holding the Bluetooth button to go into Bluetooth mode. You simply just click it on. Once it turns green, you turn your app on and it will actually connect. Oh, I don't have a battery in right now. So let me get a battery real quick so I can show you guys. Alright, just bear with me people, 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 just bear with me for a bare second, okay. Now that we plugged in, as you can see, the light flashed green, so that means we're connected and paired with this app. Okay, so what we did here was turn it on. Now let's simply, we have the blinking red light now, so you want to power on your receiver, and you'll get a green light, and you'll get a beep, deep, deep, okay. And as I was telling you guys, once you are paired to the app, let's see if we can zoom in here. Let's zoom in. Okay. And it actually go to ready. And you can see it's loading up. And look at there. It just magically turns blue. And as you can see, I have not done the firmware update. So, next time. Alright, so now that that's out of the way, let's go to another problem that some people will encounter. The fourth problem I see people having is with the calibration. They're getting the error on this screen right here they're getting that error and most of the time it says can waiting for a connection to mid waiting 
waiting and the fix I found for this is to adjust your throttle trim this red line up here if it's anywhere back behind or in front you want to adjust that to throttle is zero and by doing this this is just a tactic radio I just simply zeroed it out maybe it was not zeroed maybe it was but by me zeroing it out and making the app think that everything is balanced it seemed to work so once you got everything zeroed and calibrated you go in into your calibration mode and you want to adjust your throttle do the reverse well, it starts with the neutral, then you go to next, and then you hit your reverse. And if you're not getting to that reverse, and it's not letting you go to reverse mode, you are probably not fully calibrated. So you want to get that throttle calibrated to zero. And so once you do get that calibrated, it's going to pop up with a, a setting. And sometimes it comes up 10, the 15. What you want to do is change the properties of that to zero. So once you got that zeroed out, you want to bag out of the app. Let that thing get right. Boom, you're going to bag out. And you're going to go back into the app and pair everything back up. And now you will be getting... Some people say they getting steering and not getting steering. But the problem for that is that's because you're still in the setting mode. If you're in this setting screen, there's nothing you can do besides move the steering. You will not get any throttle in this mode. So, okay. Now that you know this, what you want to do is program it. You want to do all your programs. And these are just the programs that I have. You guys can check them out and use them because they work for me. So I got it on forward reverse. I'm in crawler mode. Uh, two cells. Cutoffs on auto. I got my BC voltage on six. Motor rotation is reverse because when I did it, it was actually flipped so it's another way you can go in and flip it but I haven't found it just yet so what I did I set my PWM frequency to 12 Hertz my start force is just originally 5 the braking is at max my drag brake level is on 10 I have my active brake enabled and there's some other things down like the throttle curb you can actually rename it you got your brake curb so if you want to make this thing break a different way you can do that you got your custom music you can make it make different sounds I just took it to factory sounds and then here's the restore factory settings and then you got your system system information and you got your firmware update down there so I mean simple as that guys I was able to get most of my things going and working pretty good and I mean they're kind of little easy fixes but you shouldn't have to even have to go through this with the ESC but let me tell you once you go through this and get these problems fixed this thing is a monster and you're gonna see in this video coming up soon I took this thing out for a test this week. It was a nice weekend. All the guys were hanging out, so I took the chance to test this thing. So, the fifth problem that I've noticed, people are trying to make their cars drive when it is in the settings mode, people. You have to go out bag out till you get to this screen and you're gonna have that error up there right so you wanna just let it sit let it sit there for a minute it might take two minutes it's kinda long but eventually it will pop back up to ready and once it's, it's ready everything has been dialed in and your car is ready to drive you can now use your throttle now 
Do you hear that? That jerking of the motor? I'm going to tell you what this is. This is the active drag brake. And what I've noticed, if it's nothing to hold, you get the jittering sensation. You can actually turn this down and not get so jittery, but I actually don't mind it for the simple fact of job it does while going downhill. This thing actually holds the car by adjusting the motor to make it balance itself out. So if it's going downhill, it kind of reverses the motor to make it hold. So it's an active brake, basically. It's a real active brake and it's very sensitive. So I think with the next few updates, they'll probably get that figured out and the jittering will stop. But other than that, I mean, it's not terrible until it starts tearing up motors. Now this is a stock motor, so the test is on. So stay tuned, so you might find out something different, man. I might end up coming back a few weeks later and be like, yo, that jittering actually shut this motor all the way down. So you get all those problems there taken care of, and they're kind of easy problems to fix. Uh, but let's take this thing out and see what we can do with it. I'm going to give you some of this video, and here it is. It's great. It's the driver. Gotta get better at driving, bro. No, Eric has better wheels. It doesn't mean anything. It helps them a little bit, but that ain't like we're gonna make a break the plane on the truck. You played on it before, and it was fine, right? He said, sorry, wrong person. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, that's funny. Uh, well, nah, the funny one was the one where yours was jacked up in the air. And I was like, man, that's funny. But the other one looks pretty cool with his body on it. Yeah, I got to fix it, bro. I don't have that much to the left. I need to. Boy, I bet you a place like Raven Rock. Um, somewhere else. I bet some places packed today with them guys. <laughs> 